Hey guys, Mitch here with the Audio Dabble YouTube channel. Have you ever wanted to just sample GarageBand straight into BeatMaker 3 or any other app that does not support Audio Bus or Interop Audio or AU audio units that generates sound like, I don't know, other apps that generate sound and you want to sample from those other apps? Well, today's your lucky day because if you have a Behringer UMC 404 HD or something equivalent that has some, um, you know, several inputs and most importantly, a couple different outputs. Like I have two sets of outputs on this one. Other Behringer models and others that have multiple outputs and inputs would work. So if you have that, you have some headphones. I have these two little, two little short cables that are kind of cool, used for, useful for things, or a little patch. Um, that cable was a little shorty. I gotta clean out my stuff, like that. That'd probably work. Um, so, little cables. I got some other cables. A powered USB hub, it needs to be powered, because this thing does, it needs to be powered. The USB hub, like, yeah, it needs to be powered. Uh, camera connection kit, like, like so, an iPad, you know, the usual. So that's a lot of stuff that you actually do have to have. It's not like just doing it from app to app because you can't capture system audio from app to app. But creating a loopback with this guy, you can. So stick around and I will show you how. All right, so. Let's unhook these little cables. They're about maybe two, three feet. They work really well for, you know, just being able to quickly patch things in. And so what I'm gonna do is I have my Behringer here. I'm going to plug this into the outputs of one and two. Now with this model here, it has main outs and it has playback one and two, three and four. Now the playback plays back the USB audio. Whatever USB device is connected, it plays back that audio. Which is good because apps that don't support interrupt audio or audio bus or audio units, they default to the system out and most of them don't have an option to put in other outputs. And so I'm and on this model as well, the main outputs are the same. It mirrors the outputs one and two. Minus, it doesn't monitor the inputs, okay? So, I have those plugged into there. I'm going to plug the respective ones into the channels three and four. And so that looks like that. So basically, I just created a loop. So audio is going to come out of here and go back in to the interface. What's great about this interface though is that you can monitor with the via headphones you can monitor three and four so that way you don't get the crazy loop back. You can yeah you and also the playbacks do not have the input options. So the, I have a video explaining all the routings, but the four inputs do not get routed directly to the playback outputs. So that's really why this works the way it does, is because the out inputs do not get routed to the playback, only to the mains and to the headphones, and you can adjust that mix with this mix knob here. I'm not going to get into all the routing. And just know that this works and if you're looking at other audio interfaces you need to make sure that that is the case or you might get some feedback loops okay so moving on I have a USB hub it's off camera I didn't I'm not gonna completely tear down my um, studio to do this tutorial completely but so I just plugged that into here, I do have it being powered. I'm going to plug my interface in, like so. I'm going to take me iPad, put it right on top like this, and plug it in. Now everything is set up and ready to be loop backed. That's all I need. And now let's dive into the iPad and let's get 
further into the actual settings. So we're back at the iPad and what we're going to do is just to test to see everything is working out. So right now you're hearing playback from the um, interface out because um, I'm monitoring it from my headphones. See, now you're hearing nothing because I have it switched to 3 and 4, which we have nothing going to 3 and 4. So that's 1 and 2. And then a little switch right here. And then if we switch this to mix, kind of hear it swelling in and out. Well, that's because this is the actual input signal. If I, if I can crank that up. I like to have it a little low so I don't end up clipping. can always monitor the input so <clears throat> if I want to sample that right now I can't sample I just can't bring it in via interapp audio or audio bus or AUV3 it just won't work and so the other option would be if I had another iPad which I do I could just take from the headphone jack or from another interface plug it into this interface and you know use it like a like an instrument but the beauty of having this inf having this set up is I only have to have one iPad and one interface got it looped around and so what I'm gonna do is click on the record input I don't want one and two I want three and four and you can see as I turn it down it really hard if I want to. So now all I have to do, and you notice background audio is on, but so I could record into it. But if I want to take and this just proof of concept run in the background. So working. Now it's not working. So this would be a way you could do it if other apps maybe does not have background audio. You could hit start and it's got a threshold here and then I switch back over to GarageBand or the other app that you want to sample with. And so that was what we were recording. So basically, I just, I mean, it's turning GarageBand into an instrument that you can use and record straight in using this loopback. But you're not limited to GarageBand. You're, you know, you're not limited to any app because any app that pushes audio out via system audio would work and so and it's almost like a nifty little trick if you would I don't know necessarily want to call it a trick so some apps that don't maybe work really well as an interrupt audio or an audio interface or a audio unit like I'm not for sure if this one is or not but you know start Go back over. I mean, just just this simple. You know, and it captured all of that. You know, that's a little, a little hot. You can turn the volume down. Because um, some apps are a little hotter than others, and put a little more extra signal. And but yeah, so that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. I mean, any 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 app. Obviously, I'm not going to demo all the apps out there to show you proof of concept. But 
So even apps that have interapp audio and stuff, I mean, it's just just easy and quick and simple to just use BeatMaker 3 as a sampler and just bring up other apps. Okay, so I have AUM plugging up. I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna do the hardware three and four because that's not what I want. But I could do like Sunriser and like maybe have a nice chain of effects throughout here. Um, however, and it's going out USB one and two. Well, in turn, guess what? It's being routed back around to three and four. So if I go here, here, have my MIDI port, standalone port. Yep, there we go. So if you've got some complex stuff inside of AUM setup or or whatever, and you just want to man I'd just like to sample that that would be so cool well then there there you have it um, I know one app that was a really really cool audio stretch so I could just start creepy but there we have it so I hope, I hope everyone is kind of understanding what I'm getting at without saying what I'm getting really really getting at is that any app that you wanted to sample from this would this would work you know Especially the ones without interrupt audio or audio bus or whatever, and you know you could obviously you could definitely think way extremely outside of the box for other things. Um, so yeah, that's that should do it. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully this um, you know maybe cleared up some things and gave you some other ideas, other workflow ideas that you could use. I mean, loop back and just use BM3 to sample other apps quickly and easily without having to fool with interapp audio and you know all the other stuff that sometimes can give us problems. You know this just works. So all links are in the description, and I will talk to you guys later.